I am so excited that with the release of Metric version 2.0, Metric Pro is now available. Individual lifters who care about their training and want to get the best results can now use velocity tracking in the Metric Pro subscription to take their training to yet another level. You can still use Metric for free using a basic membership, but if you want to take it to that next level and get more out of your velocity tracking, then Metric Pro is exactly what you need. The first big new feature to come with Metric Pro is Session Mode. On this page, you can record multiple sets of multiple exercises all in one place without having to go back and forth from the set review. So simply add a new exercise, select the exercise, select the weight just like you did before, but now you can record more sets of those following on to complete a session or add a new exercise and go back and forth. It's way more efficient for supersetting, so you can go back and forth really efficiently by just prepping the new set button, or you can add more exercises on underneath, nice and efficiently to have everything there in one place. When you're done, you just hit the end session button and it saves to your training history. On this workout here, you can see I did three exercises, power cleans, safety bar squat, and bench press, and they're all there on the one screen. If I just tap on one of those rows, it opens up the set data for that set, and I can dive into the rep by rep data. I can edit the set, delete it, hide some reps, change the weight, all those kind of good stuff. This this allows for a much faster training flow, allowing you to go back and forth between exercises with less button presses and much more efficiently. And of course, you've still got your rest timer down there in the bottom corner. In session mode, we've also now enabled automatic load velocity or load power profiling. You can turn on one of the two depending on the exercise, depending on what your training goal is. Now with my power cleans here, you'll see I've got the load power profile turn on. It's a curved line with a point of maximum power occurring somewhere in the middle weights, depending on the exercise. Now with that line, you'll also see a subtle little gray line underneath, which is showing the last time I did my power cleans. Now that line is my context. So the goal for each workout is to make today's profile, whether it be power or velocity, slightly above your gray line, your last session velocity or power profile. That's a nice visual way of representing that you're making progress, exerting more force, creating more power and getting better, being, becoming a stronger and more explosive lifter. Now you can also turn those lines off. So if you don't wanna see the load velocity or the power uh, load curve, then you can just turn it off in the settings. You'll see here on power clean, I've got the power, power velocity, power load profile turned on. For the squats, I've got the velocity load profile turned on. And then for bench, because this was an easy day, I was focused more on tempo, I turned the profile off. I didn't want to see it for that exercise, so I just hit it from view to keep things focused and simple for me. Once you've finished and you've saved that workout, you can now review all your workouts, all your sets, all your reps in your training history. If we just tap in there, you can see we've got each workout here broken down and organized by session. So we can see that clean bench press and squat workout from the other day. I can tap into that and I can see a set by set breakdown and I can see my profiles as well. And if I want, I can just tap into any set and open up the highlights and the rep by rep breakdown for that set. Now, just like during a session, you can also edit sets. So if I've changed my mind, if I entered something correctly or if I had the right weight wrong, I can come in here, change that, press save, and away I go. Or alternatively, I can't even delete that set after the fact as well. So all that customization, all your data that you record in Metric is saved here into the app in your training history. So it's there for a quick reference if you need to go back and look at things as you go. Best of all, you can take Metric Pro for a spin for free with our no commitments free trial. Hit us up with a comment below to tell us what feature we should work on next. We've got plenty in the pipeline, but we'd love your feedback to know what you want as a lifter in your velocity tracking technology. 